Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21 tells us this, Adversity pursues sinners, but the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. Now, adversity pursues sinners. Now, remember yesterday. Yesterday we looked at uh, verse 20 here, Proverbs 13, and the end of verse 20 tells us this. says, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. The companion of fools will suffer harm. And then it follows up in verse 21 and tells us adversity pursues sinners. Now, the sinner is pursuing evil. The sinner is chasing after evil chasing after sin, chasing after wickedness. And so as the sinner is chasing after sin and evil and wickedness, all of those things are going to turn around and come back upon them. Evil, sin, wickedness, it's going to turn around and begin to pursue them. Again, adversity pursues sinners. The sinners aren't going to prosper. The evil aren't going to prosper. The wicked are not going to prosper. Instead, what is going to come after them is adversity. Now, you see those who are living a life of sin and living a life of wickedness and pursuing evil within their life. Now, on the exterior, on the inside, or on the outside, rather, it may look as though they're doing well. It may look as though they're prospering, but they're miserable people. On the inside, they are truly miserable people. They're paranoid people. They're always people peeking out the blinds. They're always looking around the corner. They're always checking to see what's behind their back because they're paranoid, because they recognize and they realize that adversity is coming after them because of the wickedness of their life. Now, they might not even know exactly why adversity is coming after them, but the Bible tells us why. It is because of the wickedness within their life. So what do they need to do? They need to repent they need to seek God's forgiveness. They need to seek God's deliverance, knowing that he will forgive them and he will deliver them. Now, the rest of the verse says this. It says, but the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. The righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. And so when we look at that, a lot of times when we think about prosperity, we think about automatically think about finances. But the Bible is not talking about money right here. If you are uh, sowing goodness, you're going to reap goodness. If you're sowing kindness, you're going to reap kindness. If you're sowing mercy, you're going to reap mercy. The Bible teaches us that you reap what you sow. If you're sowing righteousness, you're going to reap righteousness and you're going to prosper in the things that you sow. In the exact same way on the other side of this, if you're sowing evil, then adversity is going to come after you. You're going to reap evil and it's going to come back on you. And so with that biblical principle in mind, if you're sowing righteousness, you're going to reap righteousness. But the righteous will be rewarded with prosperity. And so as we seek after God, we long for God within our life. Get that sin out of our life. We're repenting of that sin and we're trusting in God's grace and God's mercy to deliver us from that sin. And we're walking in righteousness because we're pursuing God. As we do, we're going to grow and increase and mature in that walk with God. Grow and increase and mature in that righteousness. We're going to prosper in it because God's going to bless it. And as God blesses it, we will grow and we will prosper in our walk with God. Pursue God today.